Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to very quickly resize large amounts of data. Specifically how to resize a lot of columns and rows very quickly so that you can basically just see all of your information. So what I've got here is a sample sales report and let's just say this could have been imported um, from a CSV file or from someone else's workbook a copy and paste and it just doesn't fit correctly. As you can see we've got a bunch of pound signs instead of numbers here but when you look up here in the formula bar you see it's a number. Also the names don't fit on the left as well as the sales report. So one thing that you could do to resize columns or to make everything fit would be to go to the right of a column click it and drag it. But that could take a very long time to do it for everything and when you're said and done your columns may not all be the same size. So you may have one that's a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller and it's not really going to look that good or professional. So I'm going to show you how to very quickly resize the data. Now one way, which a lot of people know, is to instead of drag this, simply double click it. And what that is going to do is automatically resize the column to best fit the data that's in it. So basically it's going to be as small as it can while fitting the largest amount or the longest length of characters and text in any cell within the column. So it fits everything perfectly basically. Now I could go and do it and keep doing it and it would take a long time. Here I only have two years of quarterly data but what if I had 15 years? It would take a very long time to do that. So I'm going to show you a quick little shortcut that will help you do that much quicker. Instead of individually double clicking, select multiple columns at once. Then go in between any one of the columns that you've just selected and double click it. And what that's going to do is automatically resize all of the columns that you have selected. So it very quickly and evenly resizes everything and that's the uh, auto fit function because I double clicked. And I forgot to do column A. So that's one way that you can really quickly do it. But then the problem arises that, you know, great, I have the best fit, but it looks kind of jumbled. I want some space on the left and right side of these numbers and of this text. So all you have to do is select everything. Actually, this time I'm not going to select column A. Select all of the columns that you want to be exactly the same size this time. Now go in between any one of the columns and instead of double clicking, simply click it and resize it to the size that you want. And every single column will be exactly the same size as the one that you just resized. So I can make it bigger and that will give me some extra space on the side of the numbers. And to automatically resize this, I'll do that. So those are the three or four um, ways to very easily and quickly resize large amounts of data. It may seem not that important right now, but when you have thousands of columns and rows of data, it really helps to do that. Um, and if you have an entire worksheet and, uh, full of data, say a thousand columns, and you don't want to select all of the columns, all you have to do is click right here. And if all of the columns are exactly the same size, you can resize them like this or just double click for an auto fit. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is how to do it with rows and rows are exactly the same. So if I make some of these rows too small like this, all I have to do to fix them, I could double click like this and if I wanted to make them, if I wanted to select a bunch of them, I could automatically fit them by double clicking. Or I can resize the height for all of them if I have entire rows selected, multiple rows, just change one row and it will resize all of the rows at once, just like that. Select them, auto fit, just like that. So that's how you can uh, automatically and very quickly resize columns and rows in Excel. And believe me, that will save you a lot of time when dealing with very large reports. 
So that's it for this lesson, and if you'd like to see more tutorials or get a bunch of free macros, uh, head on over to teachexcel.com.